this is going to be the start of a small series of videos where we'll go over using LT Spice in relation to building guitar pedals and tweaking existing ones. LT Spice is a software package by Linear Technologies, now part of Analog Devices, and it does circuit simulations. What this means is we can build circuits inside the software, and it'll give us a good estimate on how that circuit might perform. I'll provide a link in the description below to download the software. Now this software is pretty powerful and there's a lot to go over, but we're going to stick with the basics and things that just pertain to guitar pedals in general. Because we use components and guitar pedals that are not found in a fresh install of this application, part one of the series will focus on adding these kinds of components into LT Spice. We'll need these parts for the later videos. With that said, let's begin. First, let's go to the ltwiki.org website. From here, let's go to Components, Libraries, and Circuits. And then we'll scroll down a little bit, and then we're going to select Standard DIO. Now the reason we're going in here is when we go into LT Spice, a couple of diodes that we use commonly are not there. You'll find things like the 1N4148 or the 1N5817 Shockey diode in there already, but ones that we use a lot like the 1N4001, for example, is not in there. Uh, if you are also looking for like a germanium diode, like a 1N34A, that also is not in there. So we're going to add those two specific diodes first. So what we can do here is open up our search and hunt down 1N4001 and right here it is and even the 4002 is right there we might want to grab that too but from right here we have our diode and actually if you look a little bit higher up you'll find the 1N34A that we're looking for these are the two sections that we need so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go into documents so if it's on your desktop Go into your profile, go into documents, then go into LT Spice, go into lib for library, and then we're going to go into CMP. And here's the standard DIO that we have from the default install. So I'm going to open this up in a text editor. I like to use Notepad++, but you can use whatever you would like. What we're going to do is we're going to grab these just by copying and pasting. And you can put them anywhere that you feel that you want to put them in that. It'll take them. And there we are. Just simply copying and pasting into our standard DIO, and that's all there is for the diodes. Let's move on to another set of components. So now we're back at the LT Wiki site. Let's go back down to Components, Library, and Circuits. And then let's go down here again, but this time instead of going to Standard DIO, we're going to go to Standard JFT. The reason we're going in here is there's a couple of JFETs, actually just one really, that uh, I use a lot that is not in the default install but you can find on here and that's the 2N5457 so we're just going to do like before we're going to control F and then we're going to search for it and there it is I don't know why they called the J before that but fair enough that's just a name so I can change that if I see fit so I'm just going to copy this guy right here and I'm going to go back into my profile, into my CMP folder here that we were just at earlier. And we're going to look for standard JFT. And then we're going to edit that file. Again, I just use Notepad++, but you can use whatever text editor you see fit. And you can paste this wherever you want it. We'll just put this uh, right here. And I think I am going to rename that so that it just says 2N as opposed to that J. So when I hit save, that will complete the JFETs and diodes that I need to add into the application. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do an addition of some IC, specifically some op amps that we commonly use. And that's going to be a little bit more in depth, so let's do that now. So now we're going to add an op amp into the software. Surprisingly, the TLO72, which we use a lot of, 
is not in LT Spice. So what we first need to do is download the model. So we'll just go to Google and type in TLO72 Spice model. And let's grab the one off of Texas Instruments website. So if we scroll down, eventually you'll see a link down here. Uh, here we go, P Spice model. So we're going to download this file. They're not very big, so they're pretty quick to download. And here we go. And we get this file right here, this 301 file. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our profile. But instead of going into library and CMP, I've created a folder in here called downloaded. This is going to be a repository where we're going to keep the files that we're trying to take a look at. So we're going to go into here and we're going to paste that TLO72.301 file. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up LT Spice and we're going to go into that downloaded folder and we're going to click and drag this into here. So now we get this screen right here that's, that basically has the model information for all the electric features of this op amp. I'm going to look for this area here that says TLO72 and just right click on it and then I'm going to go down to create symbol. Do you wish to automatically create? Tell it yes. And then it creates a symbol right here. Now though this is going to work in our schematics this doesn't really look like the traditional op amp symbol so we got to find a way of changing it so that it looks like one. So I'm going to X out of this. And I'm going to back up into the library folder and then go into the symbol folder here. And then I'm going to look for an auto generated folder. And in here you'll find the actual schematic symbol that we just created. We're going to edit this in a notepad file just because it's going to be easier. And you'll see why here in a second. So if I open this up, oops, and we'll see some some code, some text of how the application is trying to handle it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take another symbol that's already been built. So I'm going to go back to this auto-generated. I'm going to go to SYM. I'm going to go into the op amps folder and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And then there's this one here called Universal Op Amp 2. So I'm going to open this up in Notepad. And what you're going to see here is a properly drawn op amp in code, so to speak. And I know this is going to look a little intimidating, but just follow along with me here. So the idea is going to be, I want the points that are in here, but I want the layout that's in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab, well, let's actually go back to the TL072. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one line right here that says window right after the sim ATDR lines. So I'm going to copy or cut that and put that right here. I want this. Then I'm going to go over to Universal Op Amp and then I'm going to grab everything down to its sim ATDR. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to delete everything above the TLO72's sim ATDR and paste that in. Now I'm going to do something similar, but from the end of the file, I'm going to grab everything at the end that's not the this, this SIM ATDR from the universal op amp. And I'm going to replace that over here as well. So now I have a TLO72 that looks very similar to the universal op amp. But notice that it's actually pointing to this downloaded library file that we have as a repository so that it knows how to actually hit the model and do what it needs to do. All right, now let's actually take a look at it in the software. All right, so I have a copy of LT Spice open, and I'm going to go back into that symbol directory, and I'm going to go into auto generated, and I'm going to click and drag this TLO72 into LT Spice. And as you can see, now it looks like an actual op amp, which is good. One thing though I'm going to add is I'm going to right click somewhere in here 
and then I'm going to go to draw and then I'm going to go to text and I'm just going to simply indicate that this is a TL072 and then hit OK and we'll just line this up somewhere eh, that looks about good we'll put it yeah right there and then we'll hit save so now we have a TL072 symbol that is set up in our software. Now there's going to be some other op amps that I'd recommend downloading uh, the TLO 71 in case we're doing any single op amp type work. The uh, RC 4558 uh, that's Texas Instruments version of that and I'll also include a link in the description that'll give you a good copy of the LM 741. There's a lot of them that f are floating out there that are not easy to import. This one's pretty simple to import and it follows the same patterns what we got here. So that should uh, hold us over for op amps. And so this should get you started on adding any component you might need into LT Spice as you need them. In the next video, we're going to build a simple RC filter so that we can demonstrate the basics of building a circuit and analyzing what it'll do. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you wish to support our channel, please visit our web store at www.diyguitarpedals.com.au and check out our PCB projects, as that would really help us out. And if you want more of these types of how-to videos, let us know in the comments below and I'll try to crank out a few more. And as always, thanks for watching. Cheers.